his fashion cohorts as the king of cool and the epitome of sexiness, Tom Ford has always been at the top of the fashion industry. Studying at the New York City's Parsons School of Design and before his final year, Ford had the chance to spend six months working as an intern in the press office of the French luxury fashion design house Chloe, where he realized his love of fashion. After graduating, Ford spent a number of years working for American design companies, but grew tired of the American fashion. So he traded American style for European, where he knew style would be appreciated. He entered the world of European fashion when he was given the opportunity to join the luxury goods company Gucci. Ford was hired as Gucci's chief women's ready-to-wear designer to strengthen the brand and give it a new look. Music is literally the rhythm of our time and fashion also always tells us really where we are culturally and the two for me really go hand in hand. I mean every time I design a collection I think constantly about music. I mean, I listen to music constantly anyway, but it really is very literally the beat of our time. As Gucci wasn't the most loved brand at the time, Ford's input helped the company grow rapidly. By 1994, Ford was Gucci's creative director and put the glamour back into their designs. He was regarded as one of the architects of the Italian fashion house's rise from near bankruptcy in the 1990s to the third biggest luxury goods firm in the world by sales. Gucci then obtained the house of Yves Saint Laurent, where Ford was also named creative director. While his first collection for YSL in October 2001 received lukewarm reviews, he was later praised for successfully reinventing YSL with his own flair while respecting its time-honored trademarks. While at YSL, Ford won a number of awards from the Council of Designers of America. His high-profile departure from Gucci in 2004 shocked many in fashion who saw the Texas-born designer as one of the most powerful figures of the industry at that time. His final show summed up the look he has created since being with the fashion house. His humor came through, adding lightness to the fact of his leaving the house. The clothes were reminiscent of dandyism. They were sleek and well-cut. his departure, he created his own fashion house, Tom Ford, which now covers menswear, beauty, eyewear, and men's and women's accessories. In April 2007, he opened his first flagship store in New York to thorough fanfare, which, unlike the ubiquity of his designs in the 1990s, is very much made to measure, one of a kind, and only for men. I was opening a new store in New York, which is very much about custom, special things, made to order, made to measure, things that you can't find everywhere. And so I developed this collection of fragrances only for that store. And when we finished it, every retailer that saw it wanted it, and we thought, oh, maybe we should put this in a very tight, limited distribution. Ford was often credited for bringing once obscure labels back to the fashion forefront with his sexy and powerful looks, which unsurprisingly was a favorite amongst the Hollywood set. From Nicole Kidman in one of his last Yves Saint Laurent designs, a gold sequin bodice with nude fabric and paired with a flowing pale chiffon skirt, to Charlize Theron and her Hancock co-star Will Smith. Although he has remained relatively low-key, he has managed to launch a highly successful fashion house of his own and revive two of the world's most recognized and now loved brands.